It's time. Some of us might be saying it's about time. In-person worship resumes November 7th. As a reminder, our Sunday morning schedule is 9 o'clock live stream worship, the same live stream format we've had but 30 minutes earlier. 9 o'clock in-person traditional worship, similar to the 8.30 and 9.30 services from before. 10 o'clock Christian education, Sunday school classes and short-term studies. And 11 o'clock in-person contemporary worship, similar to the 11 o'clock service from before. And our timeline for returning is November 7th for in-person worship. November 14th, we'll add in-person Christian education. And on December 5th, we'll add kids and students activities during the 10 o'clock hour. We won't have nursery care available during worship, but your whole family is welcome to worship with us. This video is to show you how things will look and feel when you return. Let's walk through it together. Things may look different when you come back for in-person worship. Our goal is to make sure everyone feels safe to worship at Wellspring, so if this feels like overkill to you, that's good. It means people more cautious than you will feel safe to worship alongside you. You'll still be greeted at the door, but greeters won't offer a handshake. A wave or a fist bump is safer for you, the greeters, and the people behind you. Uh-oh, someone forgot their mask. That's no problem, we have extra masks at the welcome desk. If you need a name tag, the Welcome Desk volunteer will make you one. There's hand sanitizer there as well. If you do shake hands, consider sanitizing or washing your hands afterwards. The items you need for worship will be located on an usher's table as you walk in. Bulletins, registration cards, pencils, offering envelopes, communion elements, and a bag for trash. Take what you need for your family. Oh, Frank forgot a step. Don't forget those communion elements. There you go, you're gonna need those. Please put one gap chair between your household and the next for safety. You'll notice the stage is wider and we have a tech booth at the back of the room. Fancy. The new setup will help us continue to live stream and improve our ability to make the service look and sound clear. Look at all those lovely faces. It's good to be together again. And now it's time for communion. Step one, mask off. Step two, peel back the clear top layer of plastic far enough to expose the wafer. Come on, Nancy, you got this. You can do it. Come on. A little bit. There you go, you got it. Perfect. Okay. Oh no. Ugh. You know, maybe I should have said step two is pray for patience. Okay, let's try again. We got this. Great. Moving on. Step three. Peel back the purple layer halfway so you can drink the juice. It'll get easier over time. Step four, mask goes back on and on with the worship. When the pastor offers the benediction, you'll be asked to be seated so we can dismiss by section. This is for everyone's safety. The pastor will exit to the front porch, and a lay leader will direct you. Please remain seated until the lay leader dismisses you. On the way out, you'll find offering plates near the main entrance of the sanctuary. There you can put your registration card and offering envelope. There'll be a trash can for your trash, paper recycling, a spot for used pencils, and so on. Once outside, there are many ways to greet the pastor. Scott's going in for a handshake, but he'll sanitize after. A hug's okay, she asks first.
Elbow bumps are nice. Some people may not want to have contact at all. They'll just wave or chat. Uh, Frank wants to talk about the football play from last week for some reason. Nobody really knows why. The important thing is that we follow this new normal of being aware of others' safety. What feels comfortable to you might not feel okay for someone else. So be in the practice of asking. Are you cool with shaking hands? I'm vaccinated and ready for a hug. How about you? Remember that we have a phase safety guide for worship to let you know how things will change at Wellspring as they improve in Williamson County. We tried to make this video fun and interesting, but what's important is that you know a little about what to expect and that we're doing all we can to consider how we can make as many people as possible feel safe in worship. When we feel safe, we can worship more freely and without distraction. And that's really what we're all about. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you any Sunday starting November 7th.